And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Azir Quinn going to be our next deck here on Meme Tier Monday. And this one should be probably pretty good. It's You could play this one in ranked for sure. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Meme Tier deck. But for today, this is just kind of what where I have like the slot open. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about the new patch that will be released. And we'll be doing our Thresh Spotlight Day. And then, of course, we're going to have the new expansion after that. So this was just kind of the only day to kind of fit in this donation deck even though definitely could have gone on ranked, um, but we're, we got it here on the meme tier day. But it's going to be an Azir Quinn scout deck. Lots of scouts, and of course the scouts will allow us to attack multiple times. And so with the scouts attacking, we'll have uh, sand soldiers be coming in with Azir Emperor's dies. Um, you know, with each attack round, kind of going old school with this, right? Not using blade dance for multiple attacks, using the scouts for the multiple attacks. We'll have Golden Aegis be able to rally. Uh, for us give us that barrier give us a rally so like whenever even like when we don't have the a, a, attack token normally we'll be able to attack multiple times with that um and that's kind of the plan that's basically what it is kind of a, a you know fairly straightforward attacking deck and we'll see how we do with azir quinn so let's go play our five games over in normal Okay, you think we we should be playing Repost instead of Prismatic and Rilon's Pursuit instead of Golden Ages? I could see both. I could see changing both of those. We're facing Karma, so this should be a Marauder deck. Karma Marauders. Um, I think I'm gonna Mulligan the Green Fang Warden. Green Fang Warden's just a one of, just to get like another earlier Scout unit in here. Yeah, we should we should probably change that honestly, because like this, yeah, this has relentless pursuit allows you to like round five play Quinn and relentless pursuit, especially when you don't have the attack token round five. That's probably pretty important. I think we'll change that after this game. I guess we're challenging here, and we're doing eight. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, and then like even just like this curve, like this, yeah, this should be a Relentless Pursuit, right? Because we just saved the Relentless Pursuit mana and then so on. But I guess we'll just play Azir. Sharima, your emperor has returned. Has returned. So they're doing, of course, the retreat return. They'll get a Draggling. That's going to work out pretty well for them. They get that blocker, that's nice. Go down, will you? All right, I'll just pass. There's not we don't really have to attack with that draggling being right there. So these are, they get plus two, plus two when they attack, so they're five fours when they attack. Nothing gets between me and my mark. Hot damn is the boss. You best start running. Codes will have what's left. Spears ready. This is tough. You know, either play Genevieve or play Fleet Feather Tracker plus Grizzled Ranger. That's not easy. Yeah, that's not an easy decision to make. I think I'm gonna go this route with the two with the two units. Come on, you 
big grouch. Man, that's just all they had was just that? Like, why didn't they just draw the two cards earlier? Well, there we go. That was pretty sweet. That was a, you know, perfect curve for us. Show off what it, you know, what the perfect curve is, basically. That was awesome. Yeah, get the, get the good old days of 4-1 Grizzled Ranger back. You know, back back in my day, Grizzled Ranger was a 4-1. Oh, I didn't change the cards there. That's true, the Golden Ages protecting the Quinn is really, really good with it, so. Yeah, maybe Golden Ages is just fine. Okay, that gets mulliganed. And I'm not sure about Sharp Sight. Sharp Sight's, like, always a card that you're happy to have, right? Like, you're not... You're not like, oh man, I wish I had something besides the sharp side of my hand. But then again, this is probably a vile feast deck. Hey, LOL Esports. Welcome, welcome. I know what lurks in the shadows. Alright, gonna just play this to keep them from attacking with the Elise. Maybe I should be blocking there. I guess I should be. Like, what else am I expecting this 3-2 to do? Might as well be attacking there. It's not like it's gonna do anything else. I guess you could block one one spiders. What's that noise? That egg. Did it move? Ooh. Ooh. Let's see. All right, so I do that and that. That, okay, two, four, five, six, okay. Alright, so that takes those things out. So this is me taking six damage. I can Blanc. I might as well Blanc. I would like some champions, specifically Quinn. That would be nice. Prismatic barrier. None of these cards are worth a prismatic barrier. The whole all my units have one health thing is kind of been kind of bad. We need Quinn, Genevieve. I guess the zero wouldn't be too bad. Anything like that. Not the best hand. Please, I have connections.
I think I need to just make this attack just to turn the Grizzled Ranger into a 3-4 so I can actually block 1-1s. One kind of feel like that's what I have to do. Man. I guess they got me. Alright. Alright, kind of bricked. Need a champion. Champion would be helpful. We only had two ones and three ones against the spider deck, and that's not that's not good. I kind of feel like the Bright Steel Protector plus single combat like combo that could be very helpful Resistance against something. The Emperor commands the land obey. Play really up. Do not see what is. Lame. See what will be. You dare. Glorious sacrifice. Azir's command. So they got the extra, you know, Emperor's Dias in play compared to, like, what I got, but I've got more damage in on them. I'm closer to my Azir leveling up, and then their Azir also only has two health instead of more than that. So that's kind of the trade-off that we got going on right now. Um... Themselves are my barracks. You dare. All right, never mind. In my mind, I, I was I thought that I didn't need to bright seal protector this Azir yet, you know, I didn't need to go bright seal protector single combat to kill this green clay duo, but I was kind of wrong with that. I forgot about the green clay duo getting like super big. I was kind of wrong about that. The order is given. Jerima is send in sky, past and present. You dare. Why do you have to do this?
yours. We gotta hope no more blade dance, right? Like blade dance, like coming out and putting a whole bunch of things out is gonna be really rough. See what we see, soldiers. Okay. The Emperor commands the I can also block. This where I'm using single combat or blocking. Dead meat. Quit struggling. This one's a fighter. This makes a lot more sense. Alright, so just two cards for them. Do I use single combat to kill that 4-3? Very good question that I don't know the answer to. Yeah, I wasn't really thinking about syncopation too much, but yeah, I guess the Sand Soldier blocking the 2 1. Would have been nice, but I, I think it, it just. It ends like the same way, right? But then just the Blossom Blade would have been a 4 1 instead of a 4 2. It's not, it's not really a big deal. Everything else would have ended the exact same. I guess it kind of makes more sense to do this. Alright, good thing we held on to that single combat. I was very patient with that single combat. Oh no, a shape stone? Are you kidding me? Oh wow. Wow, that kills me. Wow. Well. All right. Oh no. You are going to eat up all my sand soldiers. That's a good hand. Yeah, we were dead. They just, no matter what I do, they just play the, um, that card that was in their hand and it kills me. It had, you know, makes three attackers. I can't, I couldn't block three attackers. The Emperor commands, the land obeys. All in Fiora decks do have like a fail rate of sometimes they don't find Fiora immediately. And that's something that I'm kind of hoping for. Maybe they don't actually find Fiora immediately. Looks like that's not the case. By my honor, you must die. Do -do -do. Um. I guess it would make more sense to do this. Well, no, because then they can have Toph. I guess it just... let's just do this. Let's just do that.
All right, Fiora dead. Do not see what is. See what will be. We have to, of course, try to win this game as fast as we can. Which is here, just just wins it a little faster than Bright Seal Protectors. I guess it's about. I guess that was the same. They both attacked for the same amount. I could have played two Bright Seal Protectors though. So yeah, I guess the Bright Seal Protectors were the way to go. All right, but yeah, they didn't find another um, Fiora. So there we go. GG's two and two. <laughs> Sorry, Verna. Braum Garen. This is my kind of deck right here. Garen Braum. My kind of deck. Uh, single combat probably going to be super useful. Alright, so we'll kind of see what the opponent does. We now have options between Azir, Merciless Hunter, Doomkeeper, what to do. Egghead Researcher, Great Blocker against Vala. My opponent just kind of has having some very good blockers right now. Their deck probably just goes bigger than ours, so it will probably be a difficult matchup for us. Guessing. We were forged in dragon fire. So they have a dragon in hand. Is it the of course, they got something from the egghead researcher. Test them out, see if they play like a troll chant or something like that. I know they got the 3 3. Ah. I should have done it to begin with. Not every decision works out super well. I want to get the second attack in for Quinn, but yeah, like that Dragon Guard Lieutenant makes things a little rough. Cannot. 
See what we do, soldiers. Many foes. Stay on the target. Look how we have grown. <laughs> Still heart, steady aim. No one escapes my aim. Yeah, I don't know what I'm really doing about this Braum. I don't have a great plan for this Braum. to do with their seven mana over there. I think we figured out what they wanted to do. Well, that wasn't great. That's right, now it's still lethal. Unless they have something else. Still lethal? No. Close. I I definitely messed this game up earlier. this game up earlier. I don't remember exactly what it was, but there was something that I messed up earlier. I don't I forgot what it was, though. Uh... Yeah, maybe I should have just full attacked instead of the scout attack. After I put all that stuff in, like whenever they had the ice shard, yeah, I guess I should just full attack right there. And neither do I. GG's got him down to two. Too little though. 
So pretty fun deck to play. You know, it's it's kind of like the more fair way instead of doing all the unfair blade dance stuff. You know, like you're doing the more fair scout stuff. Um, you know, we lost to the spider deck with us. You know, having just drawing all of the two ones and three ones in the deck and nothing larger. That was unfortunate. And then you know we kind of we lost to the blade dance version where I didn't play around the plus three plus one card. I suppose. Um, you know, if I would have just done the fight spell the other way, we probably win that. So that's, you know, so we, we, all three of our losses were super, super close and a couple of decisions here or there could have, uh, could have done that. I guess the spider one wasn't necessarily a decision. So we just kind of drew the wrong part of the deck, but, um, yeah, pretty, pretty cool little deck. I kind of want, I think instead of green fang, I don't think we, I, I had the green fang ward in there as like another one, but I, I kind of wanted a sandswept tomb in here. And from playing those games, it did feel like a sandswept tomb would be pretty fun to have. Like if you're getting all these extra attacks, we talked about how you could change the barrier ages. Um, you know, so you could go either way with that. Um, and I think I think it would make sense whichever way you want to do it. So play, um, you know, repost and relentless pursuit instead. That would also work pretty well. But I think I'd, I'd get a Sandswept Tomb in here. Try to get, like, those five twos. Like, five twos are huge. And getting those in for each attack could could add a little extra punch to the deck, right? Because we were kind of missing just, like, that little bit of punch to the deck. All right, so that's going to be it here for Azir Quinn. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of this one. You know, combining these together, looking for more ways to play Quinn. And so maybe with some Sand Soldiers could be pretty sweet. All right, but that's, that's it for this deck. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.